Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Vitale. I'm a software engineer at Systematic, uh, really passionate about anything Java, Spring and Cloud Native. I also wrote a book, it's called Cloud Native Spring in Action with Spring Boot and Kubernetes. Spring Boot is really an exciting framework to work with and with the latest release, Spring Boot 3.1, we got even more uh, and better features to make developers more productive and to get to production faster. Uh, in Spring Boot 3, we get native support for GraalVM, so we can build native executables and achieve Java applications with instant startup time, instant peak performance, and reduced uh, resource usage, which is really great, especially in a cloud environment where we can consume less resources and start our application faster. Uh, in Spring Boot, we also have a baseline on Java 17 and get all the latest and greatest features that we uh, have in Java, not only in terms of functionality, but also in terms of performance and security. For example, uh, we can use records, we can use text blocks, and in the upcoming Java 21 version, we even have virtual threads. So in the uh, next uh, iteration of uh, the Spring releases, uh, Spring Framework 6.1, we're actually going to have support for virtual threads, and I'm really looking forward to that. A great uh, introduction or a great new feature in uh, Spring Boot 3.1 uh, was related to how we work with development services. So we are building applications locally, we want to interact with the database, with the message queue. Uh, usually we use uh, containers in order to run those services, maybe we define them in a Docker Compose file and then every time we want to work with the application we have to operate this Docker Compose file uh, explicitly. But now with Spring Boot 3.1, we have two new features in order for the application to automatically find your Docker Compose file and start your development service. And even better, we can use test containers. Test containers is an amazing library. It's, uh, we can use it not only for testing our integrations with external services in our Spring applications, but we can also use it at development time. So using the same test containers configuration, we can get a PostgreSQL automatically started both uh, when testing, but also at development time. So from a developer productivity point of view, that's uh, incredible. Uh, another uh, news in uh, Spring Boot 3 is that now we are using Jakarta EE 10. So if we are migrating from older versions, uh, we need to be aware of that because we are moving from uh, Java EE to the uh, successor is called Jakarta EE. And in particular, we have changes in the package names from Java X to Jakarta but there are tools that can help us migrating and upgrading our applications. For example, Open Rewrite is really great, not only to help us upgrade to a new version of Spring Boot, but in general to perform upgrades, for example, from JUnit 4 to JUnit 5. And finally, a great uh, feature that we have now in Spring Boot 3 is that uh, a new focus, a new attention on observability. With the Spring Observability Initiative, we gain even more uh, out of the box across the entire Spring portfolio in terms of metrics and traces. In fact, now Spring Boot relies on a, an improved and extended version of Micrometer that unifies metrics and traces into a single API called Observation API. So now all uh, projects within the Spring portfolio implement that API in order to instrument the code. So once we add uh, these libraries to our application, we get out of the box a lot of metrics and traces for all our different projects for uh, HTTP requests, for database connections. And that's really important because when we go to production, we really need to know uh, what is going on, how uh, the traffic is flowing through our system, uh, where it's coming from, and in more information about the request, for example, to troubleshoot performance issues or to understand why uh, certain things are happening, uh, for example, after receiving an incident report from a customer. And that's uh, Spring Boot 3, there's a lot of new things, uh, there's a lot of uh, new functionality, performance boost, security improvements, because now we can use uh, newer uh, Java versions. So if you want to learn more about it, uh, don't miss out on uh, my presentation, where I also demonstrate uh, live uh, all these different features and how they work in practice.